What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. Shout outs and congratulations to South Carolina. They are the NCAA Women's Basketball National Champions. And I tell you, I loved every single minute of this game. Coach Dawn Staley is amazing. She is an Olympic gold champion. She has broken all kinds of world records in regards to not only her coaching, but who she is as a woman, as a person. I'm going to make her own separate video because I want to really highlight everything that she's done because she has broken so many historical barriers, becoming the first Black coach to have the record that she does. But um, I want to focus more so on the team because I feel like they have risen from the ashes, right? They received so much hate, so much backlash, so much loss. If you guys remember, even uh, when they were national champions with, you know, Angel Reese, uh, of course, I know she's at LSU, but that whole situation with Caitlin Clark and the first lady, uh, Dr. Joe Biden, she invited both teams to the White House <laughs> when only the winners um, historically have gone. And so a lot of people online were saying like, oh, is she going to invite, you know, both teams this time, which probably not because y'all know it's an election year. Um, but I want to, again, focus more so on South Carolina because I know that um, they are, they are deserving of all of their recognition of this championship. They worked so hard for it. And they came back with a vengeance. They came back with an agenda and they they came back to win. They came, they saw, they conquered. Okay. So I'm going to read you guys really quickly this um, article from NPR. It says South Carolina defeats Iowa to win the women's NCAA basketball championship. The South Carolina Gamecocks were crowned champions on Sunday, beating the fellow top seed rival Iowa Hawkeyes uh, 87 to 75. The win gives coach Don Staley and her team their third NCAA title, capping a perfect season for game for the Gamecocks. The South Carolina women were undefeated, y'all. That is amazing. The Hawkeyes had a strong start shooting spree by Caitlin Clark, the Iowa guard sank a last-minute three-pointer to notch 18 points in the first quarter, the most ever scored in a single quarter of a tournament game in NCAA history. In the end, Iowa was no match for South Carolina's teamwork. Four players netted double digits, led by freshman Tessa Johnson at 19 points, Senior Camilla Carduso, who earned VP, MVP honors, powered through a recent knee injury to put up 15 points and 17 rebounds. That's amazing in and of itself. This girl was playing right, right after her knee injury. That's amazing. Defensive work from Bree Hall and Raven Johnson, who steal from Clark, broke open South Carolina's lead at halftime. Uh, it was redemption, okay, for Don Staley after losing to Iowa in last year's semifinal. You guys remember that. Staley, who had to rebuild a young team after losing five players from the starting lineup last year, was emotional after the buzzer. And y'all, she said, is uncommon favor. Whoever put that organ in the background with the social media, because <laughs> that's been on my timeline. I've been retweeting it. But it is hilarious. I love us. We are so creative and so funny. But let me tell y'all something. She praised God through that entire speech. And she said that we have uncommon favor. And I'm so proud of her and this entire team. She says, quote, it don't always end like you want it to end, much like last year. But my freshies are at the top of my heart because they wanted this. This is what she said in her post-game interview with ESPN. Freshman Johnson credited the team's success with the environment that Don Staley helped create. She says, we're unselfish people, and that's how we win it. I know that's right. The environment that the coaches create is so important, right? Because you can either motivate your team, you can inspire them, 
right? That's what good coaches do. Or you can discourage them, disempower them, tear them down, right? And we've seen both, right? Don Staley is that person where she's gone through this. She's gone through, you know, the fire. She's gone through so much in her life, right? She grew up in Philadelphia. She was one of the best basketball players out there. She's a gold medalist. Okay, she's on Team USA with Cheryl Swoops and, um, you know, sweeping the gold overseas. She came back and now she is using her own experience, her expertise to inspire and uplift these girls. And now she is, um, you know, the coach of a nationally champion championship team as well. She should. She's earned this. She's put in the work, the time, the effort. I love it. After the game. Um, Don Staley praised Caitlin Clark's historic run in remarks to the stadium crowd. She says, I personally want to thank Caitlin Clark for lifting up our sport. She carried a heavy load. You are one of the greatest of all time of our game, and we appreciate you. Again, coaches that, you know, will lift up the, the team that they just beat, the losing team's MVP, that's rare in and of itself, right? That's largely unheard of. Most coaches will focus on their own players. I'm talking about men, right? They'll focus on their own players um, or they'll, you know, they'll criticize the other team, especially, the, you know, if it's a rival who beat them last year. But Don Staley, on the other hand, she's not only praising her team, but she's also praising her rival team and their star. Because, again, you guys remember that um, situation with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. I feel like there was so much unnecessary pressure put on Caitlin Clark. She just wanted to play basketball, but people were, you know, essentially putting her on this pedestal that she didn't ask for. They were putting all this pressure on this young girl and, you know, they made it out to be a bigger, a bigger thing than it was actually, you know, it's a game at the end of the day, right? Basketball is a game, but people take it so seriously and they brought, politics into it. They brought all kind of foolishness into it, but I'm glad these ladies were able to stay focused. They came to do what they, what they came to do. They won a national championship. It was um, Caitlin Clark's last chance at a championship ring during her college career. However, she does plan to enter the uh, WNBA draft next year. So it says people will probably remember our two final fours and things like that. Don told reporters, but people aren't going to remember every single win or every single loss. I think they're just going to remember the moments that they shared at one of our games or watching on TV or how excited their young daughter or son gets about watching women's basketball. And I think it's pretty cool. Those are the things that mean the most to me, as they should, because this championship game broke historical records and is the most watched in women's basketball history. And I'm so glad to see that women's basketball is getting the shine that they have so, you know, deserved. They put in that work, they earned it, right? They got more viewers than the men's championship. And so I am just, I'm really proud of them. I'm proud of South Carolina. I'm proud of, you know, of course, um, Coach Don Staley. I'm proud of Angel Reese, who's going into the national Um, She's going to the NBA, the WNBA. Um, And again, you know, all that abuse, that um, that racial abuse that she endured online, that was ridiculous. These are college girls, right? They're essentially college athletes. They're, you know, in their early 20s. Like for them to, you know, be attacked by all these people, all these bots, all these, you know, trolls online, it's ridiculous, Right. Caitlin Clark as well. She got put under a whole lot of pressure with Dr. Jill Biden inviting them, you know, Iowa, um, the losing team to the White House. Caitlin Clark is like, we didn't win, so we shouldn't go, right? LSU was the winning team. They're the ones who should go. And Angel Reese caught a whole lot of flack for that. You know, trash talking is a part of basketball. When Caitlin Clark was making the, you know, whole John Cena you know, hand in front of her face, like, you can't see me. And then Angel came back and was pointing to her ring finger, like, okay, we'll get a ring first. (laughs) 
she caught so much flack for that, but she turned it around because they're both going into the WNBA. I hope both of these women are successful. I'm so excited to see Coach Dawn, what she's going to do in future seasons with South Carolina. I'm so proud of these women. They are champions, national champions. They deserve every single bit of it. And I hope they are celebrating. I hope Dr. Uh, Coach Don is somewhere on vacation, resting and recuperating and celebrating as well. But I just want to make this video because I am so proud of them and I wanted to lift them up and let them know that they can do anything they put their minds to. They are the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball National Champions. I remember Coach Don, she was like, you know, you, we, we have to play against not only um, the rivals, Iowa, but also the refs. The refs we're definitely leaning in favor of Iowa, but they came out victorious on top. There's a message in there. That's a word. I'm telling you that that organ music took me out. But Coach Don, she said, okay, the refs are against us. The crowd's against us. But if God be for us, who can be against us? Okay, amen, <laughs> Coach Don. Congratulations to Coach Don and the national champion South Carolina women's basketball team. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, aces. Bye.